Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week is my five minute retouch. So this is the model that we're going to use today. So as usual, let's get started. So the first thing on the background layer here, command J to duplicate that layer and I'm just gonna change the name of that to liquify and hit enter. So over to our liquify tool now, which is up here on the left hand side, our liquify persona. Click on that, We're gonna make sure that our hardness is 100%, our opacity is 80, and our speed is 80. And we're gonna come on to the first tool here, which is the Liquify Pinch tool. I'm gonna to make my brush just about the size of each eye. Right in the middle of each eye, I'm just gonna click once. Okay, also gonna do the same on the lips. Make my brush a little bit bigger to cover the lips, and right in the middle again, just one click. Next one down is the Liquify Punch tool. We're gonna to click on that. We're gonna come onto the nose here, just about covering her nose right in the middle, and again, one click. Okay, reducing the brush just a tiny little bit more, just on the cheeks here, starting from the ear. I'm gonna hold my mouse, click down, and just drag downwards. So, <laughs> just one click and drag down, and then on the same here as well. One click and drag down. Fantastic, let's apply that. Let's have a look before and after. Okay, I'm happy with that. Next thing we're gonna do is add an adjustment layer. Come down here to adjustments, and we're gonna click on HSL. On this HSL layer, I'm gonna change the blend mode to lighten, and I'm gonna change the opacity to 70. Okay, on our panel here, what we're gonna do is target the orange in her skin. So I'm gonna click on the red circle here, and on the color wheel here, I'm just gonna pull these little tabs down, these two here, till I target just the orange. And you can see I've targeted the orange here. And then on the luminosity shift, I'm gonna take this to 40. You should see the orange disappearing out of her skin. Okay, so there we go. We've got that orange and we've got most of that orange out of her skin. We're gonna stay on the HSL adjustment layer for a minute. So come over here to our brush tool. We're gonna to change our brush to basic and a nice soft brush. On our colors here, we're gonna change it to black by hitting the X key on our keyboard. We'll change that to black. We're gonna change the flow and the opacity both to 100%. What I'm gonna do with this, let's bring the color back into our hair because we took all the orange out of our hair as well and we wanna bring that back. Okay, so looking pretty good. We've got that color back in our hair. Still sticking on the HSL layer, gonna drop the opacity to about 50 and low to about 50 as well. I'm gonna make my brush quite a little bit bigger. And on each of the cheeks here, I'm just gonna run my brush down once each side, one on that side and one on that side, just to bring a bit of color back into her cheeks. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add two fill layers. So up here to layer, new fill layer, I'm gonna change this one to bright red, change the blend mode to multiply, drop the opacity to about 40, change the name of this one to lips, hit enter, and we're gonna invert it. So we're gonna go command I to invert that layer. We're gonna add another fill layer. This one we're gonna make bright blue. We're gonna change the blend mode on this one to screen. Again, drop the opacity to about 40, and we're gonna change this one's name to eyes and hit enter. And again, we're gonna invert it, command I. Let's start on the lips layer down here. Make sure we come and get our brush tool. Again, a nice soft brush. But let's get these colors back to original. So D on the keyboard. We're gonna be painting in white. So let's hit X on our keyboard to get to our white. Come down here to the lips. Let's zoom in to have a look. We wanna make sure our flow is about 70% and our opacity is about 70. Come down here to the lips and we're just gonna paint that color back into our lips. Okay, make your brush a little bit smaller to get into these little tight areas. Okay, while we're on this lips layer, I'm gonna actually change my color of my brush now to black with hitting X on my keyboard. I'm gonna drop the opacity down a little bit around about the 50 mark and also the flow. Make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm gonna bring some of those highlights back into her lips. Okay, those highlights back in. Let's zoom out and have a look. See what we've done for each of these. That's her lips. You can always drop this down a little bit more if it is too much. So let's go down to 30. That looks a little bit more natural. Okay, let's do the eyes now. So let's click on the eyes, the layer that we did with the eyes and the blue. We're still on the same brush, nice soft brush. 
Let's zoom into each of the eyes. We're going to be painting in white this time, so X on the keyboard to get our white, and we are just going to make our brush a little bit smaller. And I want to bring the opacity up and the flow up. We'll go for about 70 on each one. And we're just going to go around the eyes. Try to avoid the black and the catch light area, these little catch lights in her eyes. Just going to go around here, brush a little bit smaller to get right up the back there. There we go. And move across to the other eye and do the same around. Avoid these little catch lights. Brush a little bit bigger. Okay, while we're zoomed right in on the eyes here, we're going to do a little bit more work. We're going to come down to the liquify layer that we've got here, and we're going to go Command J. The top one here, I'm going to change the name of this now to Dodge and Burn. Hit Enter. Come over to the left hand side, and I'm going to pick the Dodge and Burn brush here. I'm going to drop the opacity down to the 50, around the 50 again, both flow and opacity, and Holding my spacebar down, it's going to move over and maybe zoom in a tiny little bit more with a bigger brush. And it's going to go onto these white areas of the eye here and just go over them. And the white bits on our eyes here, I'm just going to go over those as well. Stand out a little bit more. The other eye, let's do the same thing. Bring these little white speckles in her eyes out a little bit more under the eye here. Brush a little bit bigger. Come back over to where the dodge tool is and I'm going to look for the burn tool, burn brush tool. So grab that, make my brush quite small, just the same size as the outline here. I'm just going to go around the eye, just nice and easy. Do the same for the other eye, burn tool, bring out that black. Let's zoom out with our command minus and see where we're at. Okay, there we go. So let's have a look from where we started. So we started from here, this is where we finished. We've adjusted the eyes, the lips, skin color. We've enhanced the eyes with a little bit of dodge and burn. And we've shaped the face a little bit with the liquify tool. So I hope you found the tutorial educational and useful this week. I hope I gave you some insights on using fill layers, HSL adjustment layers, dodge and burn, and the liquify tool to create this look. If you did enjoy the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing. I'll see you in the next video.